Hey, welcome back. Today I'm uh, here with uh, Gabi Benun with his uh, Kawasaki Vulcan 1700. Yeah, I know. And uh, Moti, his uh, KTM uh, Adventure 790, trying to set up these piece of crap Cena's uh, communication uh, devices. Unable, been doing it for like 20 minutes now, giving up. Each one of us has a different Cena. Moti has a helmet. A Cena helmet with the camera. I have the Cena 10C Pro. Gabi has an older model. Trying to work that. So we're just gonna go for a short ride, nice ride around. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotek. Switching over to the 787. And enjoy the good weather. It's uh, it's Corona season, and uh, we're indoors too long. Everybody's really bored, so we decided to go for a a short ride. Uh, we're gonna go to Harriman State Park. Hopefully, it's open. We can uh, go there. Should uh, have a uh, good. Good uh, roads, nice and clear roads, because there's no no traffic. Everybody's indoors, so maybe we'll enjoy some uh, nice uh, nice riding. Highways shouldn't be too crowded. It was just kind of uh, disappointing trying to get uh, this communication system to work. Cena supposed to be. You know, compatible with each other, yet we're not getting uh, anything accomplished, unable to communicate. I'll tell you the truth, the problem is there's so many different types of uh, equipment and I don't know how, you know, I don't remember uh, which one uh, which button starts what function. I tried to start the 360 camera, it went into time lapse. I tried to start the Cena, it goes into pairing mode. <laughs> so it's all these different buttons trying to operate the systems. Here comes Gabi with his mean So what's going on? We've been indoors in, uh, I would say, quarantine for a month now, COVID-19, killing us spiritually. It's, the virus is not killing us, but staying indoors and not doing anything, that's crazy. That's killing us. Although I must say the family has been together and it's really nice. You know, we have... Uh, my oldest one, 20 years old, and my youngest one, 12, and everyone's getting along really nicely. So. Tovil!
There's Gabi's nice machine. The Kawasaki Vulcan 1700. This guy is an iron butt, iron butt uh, official. Like he's done so many iron butt challenges. I'm not sure what, which one. I'll put a link down by the description and maybe later on I'll ask him which uh, challenges he has. He's, he's literally got a, an extra uh, gas tank over there. As you can see in the back of his, uh, his ride. And he rigged it up completely. All these lights in the front. He's got so many, look how many lights he has in the front. You see all those lights? So he should be seen and can, can see where he's going uh, at night. Anyway, he enjoys riding for hours. He can literally ride for eight, 12 hours straight. Just stops to refuel and just goes. Here comes Moti with his, with his machine. The Adventure 790. This road is really nice, nice and twisty. Relatively a lot of people over here. Oh my God. Everybody's on a walk, taking a walk in the woods. Look at this. There's an FJ like mine. Look how nice this is. At this look how nice nobody would think there's corona right now Yeah, so uh, finally I was able to get, uh, Gabi and I were able to connect our Sinas. Uh, not that simple. Uh, well, yeah, actually, I mean, it, it was is, simple. It was simple if we, we knew what we were doing. What to do. <laughs> it was simple if we knew what to do. Anyway, it was, uh, now we're in pairing mode, whatever, we're paired. And Moti is the only schmuck that's not paired over here. So we can literally say anything we want without him hearing. I'm going to keep on riding a little bit more, and then find a little place to drink a little bit of coffee, small coffee. Café Catán. I can hear your music, Gabi. You can? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, slightly actually. This 
so much fun when you can actually talk to somebody. Yeah, uh, it makes it well, a little bit nicer. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm surprised to see how many people... Oh, you know what? I know exactly where we're at. For a second there, I wasn't sure where we're... Where, am I going to the right place? But I think now I know uh, where we are. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know where we're at. Let me see if I... Uh, somewhere on the left, there's a, there's a road going up. And that's where you get to the look, uh, the, the, I mean, I have the, the GPS point. If you want, I can yeah, but I don't know even what to type in. Uh -huh. But actually, I'm, I'm, I see where we're at. Over here, we go left. Yeah, I think if you take the second, that's the yeah, one. Right here, this one. Oh, yeah? This is the one. Yep, 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 yep. That's going to go to the Palisade Parkway. Not yet. From what I from what I recall, not yet. That uh, that is not the original exhaust, right? No, no, I change it to the art. Uh, when, when you change the exhaust, did you have to change anything else? No, because it was just uh, there's not much difference difference in the compression. Oh, okay. So and I kept I kept the the catalytic converter, so okay. you, there's not much of a change. There, there's not much uh, gain of uh, horsepower either. It's just, you know, the noise. Yeah, yeah. But you can hear it through my helmet, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. I, I enjoy it because it gives another dimension to driving, you know, to riding. Yeah. yeah I always think, thought about, like, oh, you know, change it or just take out the baffles or something. But problem is that it becomes annoying if you're like for five hours straight with the noise. Oh yeah, I was, I was, I was saying, I was telling before uh, my viewers that, that you're an iron butt, you're an iron butt guy, that you love uh, riding eight hours, ten hours, sometimes twelve hours straight. And definitely if you go for a long ride, it's, it drives you crazy. Yeah, that, that's kind of annoying. I'm a mini iron butt. Mini iron? Well, yeah. because, you know, there's some people out there that, uh, you know, do like 20, 30,000 miles every year consistently. Oh, no, 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 that's crazy. How can you even enjoy that? I don't get it. But. Well, I guess if you're retired and you travel like five times a year. Yeah. Oh, nice. Look at this. Wow, really nice. Yeah, I was wrong uh, when I thought that I know where I'm going. I'm absolutely have yeah, no. Yeah, I think it was the second. Yeah, but, you want okay. to turn around, or it doesn't really matter. Um, coming up, there's going to be another circle. Take, take the third on Thir the on the next circle. That'll be Route Six going north. You know what? Just come and lead. I mean, you. I guess you know a little bit of this area a little bit more than me. So. Not really. I'm looking at the GPS. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I know exactly where we are. Not this one. That one, right? Bear Mountain, yep, Bear Mountain, there you go. State Park, right here. You know what I have that's really cool? Uh, I have something that they call it an auto blipper. It, you, I don't need to use the clutch. I don't need uh, to use the clutch shifting up and shifting down. Uh -huh. Okay, over here we take a right. Yeah, I yeah. actually remember. Uh, oh, they closed it. Ay, 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 ay. All right, it's going straight. Okay, you take from here. What it is, it's uh, what it does. It electronically chain uh, uh, throws the clutch in, revs up, and uh, or, or just revs up. And then you, you trans, it transfers your gear 
without the clutch. It does. It like does its own clutch. It, uh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. called auto blipper. It's not an automatic gear at all. No, it's not. It's a double clutch transmission. Not, no, 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 not even. It's not a DCT. It's not a double clutch transmission. It's not automatic. Oh. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. I forgot like uh, how the specific the technology works. But it's some kind of electronics that what it does is the minute you hit the, the shift lever, there's a little sensor over there. It sees you're shifting up or down. And accordingly, it engages the clutch or just or just revs up to match to match yeah. to match the gear that you're going to. So when you so you, when you actually uh, shift it, shift to the new gear, it doesn't clunk and it doesn't break anything. Can you still use the regular clutch? Of course, yeah. Yeah, so it gives you both options. North or south? North. Okay. North goes towards West Point. Have you ever been there? Yeah, yeah. Not now with the bike, but yeah. Look at this to the right. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, somewhere like a Dunkin' Donuts or a. Oh, I know. <laughs> You see on the left, there's a little pizzeria over here. Uh, John always stops over here and has pizza. Uh -huh. By the Ducati place. Yeah, I think that's close though. Yeah. You should take a cafe and then go to the Yeah. On it. Okay, so so this is what these are the bikes. This is what we have here. Gabi's Kawasaki, the 2011 Kawasaki Vulcan uh, Nomad 1700. It's got quite a few miles on it. <laughs> and uh, Motis, you know it already, the 790, the Adventure 790, the KTM. Stock, rides really nice. Uh -huh. That's about it.